Hey, this is Mike. I'm at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a pretty nice vehicle. This Ford really has my attention with this one. Uh, this is a kind of a small crossover SUV, front wheel drive. And, but this one is a little bit different to me, the way the layout is, the way the, um, the seating, the way you can see in and out of the vehicle with the, uh, the windows where they're placed. And some of the features are just, um, you know, some of the stuff I hadn't seen before and it's, it's very intuitive and, and easy to use. So let's check it out. This is the 2015 Ford Edge Titanium. And the color is called Magnetic. So we've got some really good, awesome terms there to, to really get you going as far as the um, it just gets you excited. I like I like you know real elaborate terms like that. So um, so anyways, it, this one one of the cool things that has my attention here is the 20 inch wheels. You got 20 inch wheels on a kind of a smaller SUV, and it it looks awesome. They are the, they kind of a sporty looking aluminum alloy, but they also give you a really good ride too. The 20 inch wheels. So that's a really good plus in my book. So looking here in the front, we do have projector headlights here. You see the projector tubes and they are powered by halogen headlights. We also have a running light. So let me go ahead and start it up so we maybe we can turn some lights on here. So I'll make sure it's locked and double tap the the remote start button you can see this is the key it does have some pretty cool features here and the key is a nice sleek design you got the ford emblem there on the back and you've got the um, everything is easy to read with the big symbols and um, just well laid out there okay so so now we have some running lights down here that's what i wanted to show you hopefully you can see that you have the running lights down at the bottom with that cool shape there kind of aerodynamic shape that um, you can see coming down the road and the front grille is just really classy it's smooth the way the vehicle shaped is kind of this rounded off it's not too I hate to use this term edgy with all the edges it's kind of rounded um, it is a edge but well you get what I'm saying you can see the grill smooth classy look to it but it's not too roundy I don't know it's hard to explain you you see it and judge for yourself I guess so it does have the like a proximity type key to where you don't actually have to ever take the key out of your pocket uh, if you don't want to you can just walk up to the vehicle and this handle has some some neat features so basically, this vehicle is now sensing the key that is in my pocket. It is in, within a close proximity of the vehicle, and that's what the proximity sensor key means. So now the handles kind of, you know, the vehicle knows I'm here with the key. I'm not just some random person with no key. Um, so I can walk up, it, the vehicle is locked, and I can just put my hand here, and I don't know if you heard that, it actually unlocked. Okay, so I can open up the door like that just by putting my hand there. You see these little lines here? I can put my finger there, it relocks. So it senses uh, the placement of my hand on the handle and will lock and unlock the vehicle uh, without actually taking the key out of my pocket. And there's some other cool stuff that relates to that, which we'll get to in a few minutes. So let me go and unlock it, take a look on this side. And this one has the all black um, ebony interior with the, uh, the white stitching, contrasting stitching here. And as you can see, you do have a bottle holder, some storage pocket there at the bottom of the door. And um, just a real simple design there. Um, that's one of the things I like about this vehicle. It's just, it has a lot of features, but it just still has that simple look, that simple layout. You've got the black perforated heated and cooled leather seats here in the front with the power adjustments and the lumbar support 
has a good firmness, um, good quality feel. Like it has like a thick leather. It doesn't feel like it's um, it feel like a like a soft, you know, too look like it's gonna wear out or anything. What I, one thing I like about the leather that's kind of smooth when you touch it is that you're not grabbing onto it. Like say when you get in the vehicle, you can reposition, you can slide your butt around and get in the right position without the leather sticking to you. Um, that's a that's a plus in my book. I do um, you know have that in my car and I really enjoy uh, being able to get in a vehicle and you have a little bit of a slide feel to the leather so that's what that's what this has and and um, so I certainly like that maybe you don't I don't know but so let's look at here it has this um, kind of like a I don't know how to explain a metal looking accent there and you got some silver accents here but let's check out the glove compartment. It is a lockable glove compartment. And you do have a pretty good amount of space in there. And speaking of space, you got some space back in here. Pretty interesting spot. Um, it does have some uh, illumination in there. At nighttime, there's a lot of ambient light in this vehicle. It looks pretty cool. I'd like to show you that one day. 12 volt power supply here so like say you can plug in your phone put your phone in there you can access it from both this side or the other side and I like the way the seats are has some height from the floor so your feet are not you're like your knees are not up in the air and that's one of the pluses that I like in this vehicle all right so moving on back here to the rear doors you can see you've got you know similar um, simple design with the bottle holder and the the arm the cut out for the arm to rest there which I really enjoy and here's the back seats now they are le they are heated leather seats perforated and I reclined this one here to show you that they do recline and um, so you can recline you know this has a 60 40 split so you can recline one side not the other you can also fold down uh, one side and not the other so this folds down flat to give you more cargo space you also have these cup holders here in the center but if you need a center passenger you can flip that up and they can sit there check out the sunroof I'll get to that in a minute the sunroof is crazy all right so looking here you can see we have the heated seat controls there. We also have a 12 volt power supply um, right there. And a Edison plug, the 115, uh, 110 volt, 150 volt Edison plug down here. Uh, it is 150 watts, sorry. And the watts, um, that could handle like say it's, you know, cell phone or a laptop charger that kind of stuff is you know it's not super high wattage but it is very adequate for most low draw things you got a little storage pocket here as well there is while I had the seat down this is the anchor for the latch system which this vehicle has indicated by these little these things here in here are these little uh, anchors to where you can uh, latch and secure the um, the, the car seat very securely in the vehicle with even an anchor on the top and you'll notice here in the back you do also have that height from the floor to the seat which gives you a very a much more comfortable ride uh, for the back seat drivers <laughs> all right so back here uh, you can see it has the dual exhaust for the 3.5 liter v6 280 horsepower 3.5 liter v6 so this thing is pretty peppy and it does have a special um, vvt system which i'll get into in a little few more minutes but okay so you see the dual exhaust so you can tell it's got some it's got some muscle behind it basically and usually that's what that means it's got some extra airflow for the uh, engine and um, and it looks cool too. So looking back here, you can see it does have the parking sensors. Those little round circles there on the bumper. Those are the things that are going to let you know if you get close to something while you back up. And you can also see what's behind you. 
by using this backup camera. There's the lens there for the backup camera. It is a wide angle lens. So you can see, you know, all around the behind the vehicle from the bumper to the sky. Um, really cool feature, safety feature for sure. And all the tail lights here are LED tail lights. So that's a really cool feature and looks awesome and very bright and all that stuff so and leds in my opinion um can be a very good safety feature just because they're so bright and you can see them from a distance and they kind of they're able to cut through fog a little bit better in my opinion and um so they are a you know they are part of a safety feature so another cool thing now this is probably going to um this is probably going to surprise you. Maybe not. Maybe you've seen this feature before. But on the Ford Edge Titanium and maybe other trim levels, you can walk up to the vehicle with the key in your pocket, of course. And just like the, the door, the door uh, this vehicle is sensing the key that's close by near the vehicle. So I can, of course, open up the tailgate with my hand using this handle. I can also use the key if I wanted to. I've got a free hand. I can grab the key, I can double tap that, the tailgate will open. But let's say I don't have a free hand. Let's say my hands are tied up. Um, let's say you're ha holding a, a camera stabilizer, like this one. And uh, you know, you just want to make sure the video is stable as much as possible. You can open up the back just by kicking your foot, like so. You kick the foot, you don't actually hit the vehicle, but you kick your foot under the vehicle and it opens up and you don't have to touch anything i mean the, the back of the car could be dirty or whatever you know or your your key might be uh buried or like i said you just want to impress your friends now same thing in reverse when you look uh in here it's got plenty of room here but i'll show you you know how to close it in a second um you do have some storage space there and you got a subwoofer back here you got these little hooks that pop out and pretty good amount of store, uh, like cargo area too. It's um, pretty substantial. Not to mention under here with your spare tire, which you do have in this vehicle. And you know, make sure you do know if you have a spare tire. Some vehicles don't have them anymore, so just make sure that you're aware. Now you can see it's got all this little hidden storage space back here as well. And you see this little funnel? I'll refer to that in a minute. All right, so, so now, another cool thing, there's these buttons here, there's a power supply here, but also, let's say you want to lower the seat, let's say you got this big box, and you put it in here, and it's like, man, it's just not quite going to fit, so, instead of lowering, walking around, and opening up the door, and, up, and lowering those seats, it's got a convenient button right here, so I'm just going to push this button, and it just drops the seat down for you, same thing on the other side, you can just hold it lowers it right down so now you've got almost double the cargo capacity you did before uh, in just a matter of seconds so that's a really cool feature of course you can't do that when there's people in the back seat but you know hey what are you gonna do now you can have a passenger on one side and cargo space on the other and you know so you can have a mix of cargo and passenger space all right so now I've loaded up my cargo stuff and everything so now i want to close the tailgate but you know i just don't feel like touching it off you know i don't feel like um digging the key out so all i've got to do is kick once more so i just kick there walk away and it's lowering down isn't that cool i think that's cool i, th I think that is one of the coolest features i mean and i think you know that that's gonna start something so check this out here is the gas cap gas door there's no cap now I told you I was gonna refer to that funnel this is the the funnel is only for when you have to use a gas can otherwise you just walk up and you put the uh, fuel nozzle in there you put your gas in and you're good to go that's it no cap no cap at all all right, so I'll give you another perspective on this side. Lift this seat back up, which you do have to lift up manually, by the way. 
the button does not pick the seats back up. So just to let you know, that's um, what you have to do. All right, this does have a blind spot monitoring system. And you can see here on the, the side mirror, I don't know if you can see if the light's hitting it just right, right there. Right here, you can see it shows a little symbol there. That will illuminate and also let you know on the screen there if you have a vehicle in your blind spot, especially if you put your turn signal on, it's going to really let you know because it, it's trying to uh, uh, warn you um, and keep you from hitting other vehicles. Blind spots are, you know, unavoidable in all vehicles. So, so what they do is they have that blind spot monitoring. It also has a a traffic alert system to where if you're backing out of a parking spot, a perpendicular parking spot, and a vehicle's coming in on you, it has the, the sensors, the blind spot sensors also extend out to uh, recognize vehicle closing in on you and it kind of warns you there too. Cool safety features. Lots and lots of safety features on this vehicle. So here is the driver's door and it has basically a mirror of the other side, but it has a lot more buttons so you do have the window controls for all the windows in the vehicle you can lock out the rear passengers um, if they're driving you crazy and you hey you, you know you can't roll your windows down you can do that you can also adjust your side mirrors you just choose what side and then you adjust it with this pad right here presets for the seats are right here one two and three and you have the uh, that's the power seat there you also have your door lock controls and your speakers so the seat does have the power adjustments with the lumbar support you also have this little place right here I guess to catch your change when it falls out of your pocket or um, just to kind of put stuff maybe a small umbrella that kind of stuff all right so right here we have oh yeah I want to show you the edge I don't know if you can see is illuminated right here in the threshold at nighttime it really looks cool okay so looking at the right here we have the automatic headlights and um, so right now it's got that a you can always turn the headlights on there parking lights or turn them off you have a dimmer switch here plus and minus it will adjust your interior lighting with those buttons you can open that's another way to open up the uh, the hatch back there that's just one additional way all right let's take a look at the seat once more with the headrests and everything before i hop in show you the key again he does have to be in the vehicle of course you know this is a it senses the key and I'm just gonna put it in and of course it could just be in your pocket you don't actually have to have take it out of your pocket and lay it like I am um, but now that I'm in the vehicle let's see how quiet it is pretty quiet so let's go ahead and start it up put your foot on the brake push the button everything starts up all right now I'm kind of hot so I'm gonna put my air conditioned seat on that'll help so looking at the steering wheel it is a hand stitched leather steering wheel and it's got the grips here gives it a sportier look and a better you know grip vertical grip there and you'll notice it has a bunch of buttons on it so one of the things that most vehicles have nowadays especially on the steering wheel is buttons for the cruise control and there's a cruise control buttons there um, you can just turn it on uh, you can set it resume cancel off I mean it's got the same basic controls uh, as cruise control has had for ages so you know but they're just in that location there on the right side we have a volume button so I can turn the volume up and down here like that I can change to the stations or the CD tracks or the media tracks whatever change to the songs 
Also, these are these these buttons double for your Bluetooth phone. So basically, when you pair your your Bluetooth phone with the system, you will be able to answer the call using this button and hang up using that button. You do that. You do have a voice recognition system by pushing that. There's a bunch of commands like say tune to a certain station, go to a specific address, um, all kinds of different commands there that you can you can call a certain person. You say call uh, Johnny or whoever's in your phone book. So that is a very very good safety feature. It keeps your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, and you're still able to do all kinds of advanced things uh, while you know driving completely safe. All right, so above all those buttons, we have these two uh, key kind of button pads, I guess you can say, on the left and right. And they correspond with the gauges here. Now, you, so you see you have a screen to the left and right of the speedometer. You see the speedometer is in the center. It's pretty easy to read. It's you know pretty standard. But to the right, you have a screen and now if you can see this, you can see at the top of the screen there's a little four arrow thing there letting you know um, that you know which buttons you can push. And so when I when I um, push the buttons on there, now this screen on the right corresponds, it kind of runs in tandem with the big screen. Okay, so the right, the closer the big screen does that. So like right now it's playing music was what the screen is doing and um, so that's telling me that I am uh, basically what station I'm on and what's playing I can go and go down here to navigation and if I had a navigation uh, SD card in there I can um, you know show you that but it doesn't so let's see if I can get you a closer look sorry about that okay so it's got the entertainment which is the right now is the radio which can be other things, navigation, and the phone. So that's some of the main kind of menus. And then, of course, there's you going into that. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, trying to get this right here. Um, you go into the entertainment by pushing the right arrow. You go back. You go down, navigation, go into that. Go back. Get the idea. And you can get their submenus under those. So that's the main kind of point of that side of the screen. Now you do have the clock, you have the temperature, and you have the digital compass. So that E stands for me facing east. All right, so the left side, you can see the buttons there, and this screen, I'll try to keep the camera focused on the screen while I'm... Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so right now it's showing this speedometer. So I can push the left arrow and you see it that's I'm in display mode so I'm gonna go back in display mode just so you can see other stuff so I'm gonna scroll down distance to empty 66 miles and then I've got the RPM gauge if I want that I can got a coolant gauge next to this the fuel gauge scrolling down again gives me the tire pressure now your your fuel gauge always stays there just kind of moves around a little bit but it's always there Scrolling down again gives me back to the speedometer. All right, so go to the left. We can go into our trips and see what they look like. Trip one, trip two. All right, you also got, you have a, a distance. You have a average miles per gallon and you also have a time for that trip. So you notice this one has a, you know, a low, you know, skewed considerably because of the low miles. All righty. And so fuel economy, we can go into there, um, see what you know what we're getting at in the moment, and also you know uh, the average, that, that kind of stuff. And uh, driver assistance, uh, that's actually like you can turn on and off features like traction control, blind spot, monitoring, cross traffic alert, and rear parking aid. You can turn those off if you want to there. And then settings is kind of set up the screen the way you want it vehicle it also has vehicle settings like say auto engine off um, lighting locks how long they you want the lights to stay on after you lock the car that kind of stuff so it does a pretty good amount of settings there but kind of the default is the the, the speedometer there I guess that would be my default anyway 
All right, so that's the two screens there. Those are the two touchpads. The controls there, that's what they do. You do have your windshield wiper controls to the right there, your turn signal controls there, and your um, headlight dimmer switch as well. Up here, we have a kind of a storage pocket there. Now, I want you to tell me what you use this for if you have one of these in your vehicles you tell me because i don't really understand that particular pocket a lot of vehicles have them um, it's in direct sunlight on the on the dash it gets very hot so i'm not sure what you would actually put in there for any length of time so you tell me i have no idea maybe it's something useful i'm not sure all right so here is your eight inch screen and it's very simple layout Let's see if i can get a good shot of it here so okay so in it's basically the corners your phone is in the top left you got your uh, navigation top right and then the bottom left I mean bottom right is your climate and then you got your entertainment so phone once you pair your phone you'll have all your information there just trying to, to pair one but once you do pair one you will have your phone book uh, recent calls different things like that the ability to make and receive calls uh, very easily same thing with the navigation um, right now it doesn't have the navigation disk in the SD card place so it's not showing anything up there but it will be able to show you a map it also show uh, you can select different destinations stuff like that uh, in your navigation corner um, so let me go back here all right, let's go home. So at any time, you can always hit the home button and you can get get back to the screen where you can have your four corners again. Entertainment. This is what your radio is doing right now. I'm in satellite radio, listen to 80s music. You can also uh, also control your CD, USB, um, AM, FM. You also have Bluetooth radio. So like say you can, uh, once you pair your phone, you can play music off your phone, that kind of stuff. You have an SD card input and you have an auxiliary line in input there. So there's lots of different ways, lots of different ways to play music through the sound system. So let me hit the home button again. And the last corner is your climate control. And this shows you all kinds of stuff. Uh, some of it is redundant because you have the um, buttons down here, but uh, it is the ability to have um, you know all your controls, your heated, your heated seats, cooled seats, Heated steering wheel is here, and uh, where you want the air to blow, your fan speed, your temperature. It is a dual zone, so you can you know do all that stuff in the screen. Now your basics for your climate controller down here, um, so you can still control them down here, but um, you know has a little bit more neater looking on the screen, I guess. So your CD player is here. And is it you know you can find it at night even because it has this illuminated bar here above it and you can turn on on and off your radio there eject the disc which there's no disc um, but all these rest of these buttons are for your climate control um, so you can see climate control climate control and then you got a big volume here tune through the stations so it's kind of mixed it's kind of like climate control on the outside radio in the middle a little bit of radio at the top but then down here you got all climate control with your heated your, your seats and your temperature and all that stuff. I mean it's it's laid out nicely and this is what I was talking about before um, as far as the way things are laid out. It's very easy to reach all this stuff. I mean very easy and it's not complicated. Some of the stuff in the screens can be complicated but the way this layout is it's very simple and easy to understand. Uh, you get in the vehicle you don't have to think you just see okay this is what I do and um, so I really enjoy this layout here the way things are um, just simple but tons of features but yet it's done in a, in a simple in a simple way alright so let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and put it in reverse and I want to show you the the backup camera because um, you also have the backup parking sensors as indicated by this little uh, picture here of the vehicle so your backup camera like I said before, shows you from the bumper to the sky. And um, so basically, it also has those guidelines there. 
So those guidelines will move. It'll give you a, a second line that moves to let you know when I turn the steering wheel, which I'm doing now, which direction the vehicle is actually going to travel in. So it gives you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle, also an estimated size because it is in a widescreen lens. So it kind of distorts things slightly at a distance. Um, well, not slightly, a lot. Uh, you can see the whole earth is curved there. So, so it gives you an estimated uh, trajectory of the vehicle and estimated size. Now you still want to look at your, you know, rear view mirrors. You also want to look at, look out the window, that kind of stuff. This is just an extra level of safety. So, um, so let's go ahead and continue with the shifter. Put it in neutral, put it in drive. Now, sport mode. Um, sport mode uh, is the ability to tell the vehicle that you want to get you want to emphasize on performance and not fuel economy and um, right on the back of the steering wheel which you probably noticed before is paddle shifters so while you're in a sport mode uh, you can shift through the gears manually if you wanted to you can also do it in regular but it's probably a little bit more fun uh, to really you know control the shift points yourself while you're driving um, to get that you know kind of manual transmission fun out of the 3.5 liter V6. So sport mode will get you to the hospital faster. It'll um, get, you know you can zip through traffic. Of course, your fuel economy is going to lower considerably though. Now while while I have the shifter back, let me show you in here. This is a little storage pocket. Really cool place to put your phone. But also you have your connectivity. This is where you find your USB ports, your SD card, and your uh, line in auxiliary input there. For playing all the music through the sound system. Alrighty, put the shifter back. This thing is your parking brake. You lift it up and that engages your parking brake and it will be, have an indicator here, parking brake. So you can also push it down to release it. So it's that simple. There's no you know jerking up on a on a lever or anything like that. So here's your cup holders interesting thing about these cup holders is that it has this little spacer to where because one of them is deeper than the other so you can put the spacer here or here depending on the size cup that you normally use so I think that's a little pretty handy thing sometimes people have tall cups short cups stuff like that and um, so you definitely don't want to be fumbling around with a hot cup of coffee while you're driving so you want to have it easy and comfortable and easy to use safety feature armrest right here um, has a good height it has a good smooth feel to it and um, it does have two pockets here so you've got the these buttons Let's see if you can see that anyways one of them the one on the right is smaller so you can noticeably feel the large button and then a the smaller button and the smaller button opens up the small compartment here at the top. It is a felt lined compartment to where you can put stuff. It also has that little place to put wires in and out of it in case you want to put something in there with a charge. And then you close it down, push the bigger button, the whole thing lifts up, and you will see you have a really deep storage space down in there with a power supply, 12 volt. Now, I'm hearing an echo, so that means it's pretty deep. So you're probably going to lose stuff in there if you don't watch out. So that's a warning. <laughs> Alrighty. Rear view mirror. This is an auto dim rear view mirror. It does have a little sensor. You can barely see it on it. Um, so where if somebody's behind you with their high beams or bright lights, uh, it's going to dim their lights through the mirror and uh, to avoid blinding you. And but you still be able to see them. So that's a pretty cool feature. Up here, you've got your lighting, uh, little little reading lights there on the side. You have all your lights to turn on, or got this button. And I like this symbol a little bit better better than I've seen in the other vehicles. It's letting you know to um, that basically you don't want the lights to come on when the door opens. That's basically what that that means, right there. Now I've got I have the sunroof open. I mean the, the the shade back so you can see how awesome this sunroof is and this is a very 
stunning sunroof. The whole vehicle. I mean, sometimes you see a, a panoramic sunroof and it's like it's got the little panel in the front and the little panel in the back. This one has like a massive panel. And I'm hoping I'm getting the right angle here. But you can see that whole that front part is massive. This smart back part's smaller, but the front part is where, you know, I think really makes a difference visually. So um, you know, I have the shade back. Now you can uh, you can up you can uh, basically vent that big portion. You see that, or you can open it, push it, and it'll open up all the way. And push it again and open up even more. All right, I'm gonna close it. And I'm going to close the shade so you can see. There we go. See what it looks like. It actually blocks out all the light um, from the sun. So it's like not even having a sunroof. So sometimes you just don't want to have the sun. So that's that's the cape. You know, you're able to do that as well. All right. Let's while we're looking that way, let's take a look. See what the back windows look like. Seats. There's the dash. Really would like to see this vehicle at night. Show you what it looks like. But it's probably gonna be a little while because it's hard to it's hard to video vehicles at night because dealerships close early and you know just having access to the cars at night in the summertime it's really hard because it doesn't get dark till real late. Okay, so let's check out the engine, 3.5 liter. And it'll probably be covered up with plastic, but hey, let's go see what we got. Alrighty, got the lever there, just a little bit left of the oval here. And there it is, or that's the cover for the engine which is underneath it and it's a 3.5 liter 280 horsepower BBT system and the BBT basically gives you it's a tech it's an engine technology that's been out for a little while now uh, in modern engines it gives you better fuel economy while maintaining a pretty significant amount of uh, power horsepower and torque so it's pretty cool This one does have the holds itself hood, which I think is cool. All right, there you have it. 2015 Ford Edge Titanium in magnetic color. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. If you have anything to add, if you have any experience with this vehicle, maybe you purchased one, maybe you rented one, something like that, let us know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. And also thank you to Conway Ford for allowing me to show you this awesome vehicle. Thank you for watching. See you next time.